What's up? It's your boy Dre. And right now I'm finna come back with a review of two two guns that I've already reviewed with my first official review. And that was the Beretta Nano versus the Ruger LC9. Now this is the first this is what I want to say before I get into this actual review. Now as a gun reviewer, as a person when you watch these videos and you sit up and you listen to things that I may say or someone else may say about a gun, you have to keep in mind that a person is going to have a initial impression and then they're going to have, after having it and having experience with it, they're going to have an overall impression. So, you know... It would give put us in position to sound like a hypocrite. So, so as a watcher, you can sit and say, "Well, you said this over here, and now you're saying this." Well, true because I didn't know then what I know now. You know, so I mean, I just want to put that out there because I'm about to go back into into this comparison, and I have a I have a clear cut winner. A hands down winner. And I'm going to tell you why. Now. I'm very partial to Beretta. I would. You know. I'll put that out there. I'm very partial to Beretta. I only have two. Of their. Um, firearms. The Nano. The P4 Stone. But I'm going to get more. Like. I'm partial to them. Because I like the way they look. And. First of all, when the Beretta Nano was was about to come out, I was when I, I needed it. I needed it just because it was a Beretta pocket pistol. But and I but I had already got my hands on a Ruka LC9, and I found some things that more so that I didn't like that I thought that were a big issue but now I don't feel like that's a big issue anymore and let me get into that now for starters if I would say from a grip if I would start talking about the grip first the Beretta Nano as of right now they have a six round magazine and the magazine fits flush and you know me I'll be the first to say that I always like my uh, firearms to work well, if we're going to talk about, about pocket, I want it as small as possible so the pinky don't fit. That's that's even, that's even better for me because I, feel I have a better grip with a gun. I feel like because at this point, the way I feel about pinky extenders is just like, okay, here's the handle. And then you just have something that your pinky is resting on. Your pinky is not, is not stabilizing the grip. I mean... Is 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 not? I, I don't see my pinky. For me, my pinky is not that strong to where it's stabilizing the grip. Maybe it is for you. I I like to see how a pinky is stabilizing the grip. Maybe it is for you, but for me, my pinky is is my weakest finger. And what my stable these two fingers in my back and my thumb. That's what's stabilizing my grip. And pretty much my pinky is just resting so for it to rest on an extender or for it to rest under the gun it doesn't bother me so with the Beretta Nano saying that with the Beretta Nano you don't have a pinky extender so your pinky is going to swing with the Ruger SC9 is a different story they have a magazine with the pinky extension so your finger has something to rest on but I always use, I have two magazines, and I have uh, the one without the pinky extension, and I, I, I use that one, I, this is the one that I leave loaded, oh, and for you, the safety concerns, done this before I uh, turn the video on, but just for viewer discretion, nothing inside, I have, uh, I keep one magazine loaded depending on which one I carry. This is my uh, Beretta. This is my Ruger. So we won't be firing any shots into into the walls or anything. 
But like I was saying, I always the I leave the on my ruler. I leave the non pinky extended one loaded, and I just leave this on here for when I go to the range, and I when I load both of my shoot non pinky and then pinky, and I always find myself just liking the non pinky better. I mean, honestly, I can't tell a difference from a shooting. Really, honest for me, seriously, the pinky extended starts for me it feels like it's in the way. But from a grip standpoint, I will have to give that to the Ruger. I'm gonna give that to the Ruger because of the because the texturing on the sides. You know, it has a sandpaperish grip. You know, you have the texture on the back, texture on that side, texture on the front, versus the uh, Beretta Nano. It's a slick on the side, texture in the back, texture in the front. Now, that's a bit uncomfortable for me because you have this texturing and it's really coarse against your fingers. And this right here. If your fingers start sweating, you're going to be skating in there versus because that for me, like I said, with that being the this being the stabilizing part of the grip, that's very important. So, you know, and I have sweaty hands, so my hands will get to sliding back and forth on that versus on the Ruger. They in there, you know, because of the texture. So I got to give the grip to the LC9. And plus, for those that like to have the pinky extender, you have that option. With the Beretta Nano, as of yet, you don't have a pinky extension option. Not that I know of. Now, another thing I want to get, I want to talk about is, uh, I want to talk about the actual sights, the sight picture. And for that one, I would definitely give that to Beretta hands down. I mean, they're both, they both are customizable. Like you can, you can, you, you can adjust the sights. But I just, you know, the LC9, that three dot system is very small. And the uh, Beretta Nano, theirs are closer to normal. At least what I see, the, the, the three dot system on the Beretta Nano is on par with, is pretty much on par with like my baby Glock sight picture. Yeah, it's it's pretty much on par. Only thing different is Beretta Nano three dot, and you know Glock they have their own, but that's digressing. But as far as uh from a sight picture perspective. Uh, Beretta Nano wins that hands down and let me get into the actual I ain't gonna get into the takedown just yet I wanna get into the price which is which is a uh, important for a lot of people you know the Beretta Nano is gonna be 475 the Ruger LC9 gonna be as cheap as 359 so 359 475 and what when I go back to when I was talking about the magazines Ruger LC9 bullshit Ruger LC9 7 rounds Beretta 9 on 6 rounds so you remember that video I made about price size and capacity they both two pocket pistols, so the size kind of cancels that is each other up. Price $475 for six rounds of nine millimeter, $359 for seven rounds of nine millimeter. Now, won't you tell me what you think <laughs> I'm gonna go with? You know, that's gonna be that's gonna be Ruga LC9 hands down. And that, that's as an actual overall recommendation. <clears throat> but let me go into more reasons why I feel like the uh, 
LC9 is a better selection than the uh, Beretta Nano. Now, I've spoke on this, and uh, I've seen other people spoke speak on this, but the Beretta Nano has a failure to extract issue. And so far since I've had mine, and honestly, I have no idea how many shots I've had through this. You know, I've seen, I've rewatched my videos. I know it's been, I know it's been at over two hundred. Could be closer to three hundred. I, I, I don't know. I lost. I lose count. I, I own eight firearms, so I'm not really keeping up with how many rounds I've been through it. So, but I can tell. I tell you this out of whether 200 or 300 I've had three uh, failure to extract and uh, that right there has definitely raised an eyebrow for me you know because hell the last thing you want to get in the middle of a firefight and you have a failure to extract what you gonna tell the shooter you say you wait just a minute let me let me clear this gun and I'm gonna shoot your ass real good you just wait I don't think you're going to be trying to hear no shit like that. Now, my Ruger, I've had this to the range. And I've had a, the equal amount of, of shots through both. So, if I've had 200 through this, I've had 200 through this. 300 through this, 300 through that. I shoot them all. I disperse my uh, ammo evenly. And I've had, uh, I can say that I did have one failure to extract on this one. But that, I think that was more so me not having my own magazines loaded correctly. I mean, you know, it's a you really have to, for me, well, you can have your magazine loaded and it's not all the way pushed to the back and it will still, and it will still feed. So I figured... And that was closer to when I first got into shooting and, and um, at the range or whatsoever. And I think that I may not have had my magazine loaded correctly. Now I make it my business to push my uh, bullets all the way back. Uh, this right here. I can't say the same for my Beretta Nano because I've had it happen on multiple occasions. I've only had it once. So that just what makes me feel like I may have had it loaded correctly. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, why this one has had three and this one has only had one. And this this happened like the my first time at the range and I haven't had any problems since. Uh, this has happened on, <laughs> you know, three separate occasions, you know, so. And it may happen again in the future. So, with that being said, the the Ruger LC9. It's uh, I f from that point I feel like it's more reliable. Now, from a safety perspective, we want to look at the Ruger LC9 with the uh, with the four safety options: slide safety. Loaded chamber indicator, magazine disconnect. Then it also has the safety to where, oh, I mean, you can see the hammer when it's down, ready to go. And it also has, when you turn the key, you lock it, and the trigger is pretty much, it, was, it won't do anything with an actual bullet in the chamber. I've also found out that when I load this, there is a hole that's right here. And let me just show. Let me demonstrate that real quick. Flip that safety on. When a giant, when a bullet is loaded, you can see the brass right there. You can see the brass in there as well. You know, so it is a very, it is a, <laughs> this is a very safe pistol. The uh, Ruger LC9. You know, I mean, and with the trigger out, with the clip, with the magazine out, you don't have to worry about uh, accidental discharge. And see, I've cleared it 
Hey, you can see that it's clear in there. Now, the Beretta Nano, pretty much, that's, they, have, they have a safety decocker here. And that's actually part of the field strip. You press that button. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. Press that button in. And it will decock your firearm. And it has the uh, trigger safety. And that's pretty much it. But from a design standpoint, it's very smooth. It doesn't have those bumps, you know, that you're going to get from having a slide release in the slide safety you know which would make this a bit more complicated to rack your slide back and keep it back but you just insert an empty magazine cock that back send it forward drop mag or if you have it cocked back after you've emptied the magazine you just put the loaded one in put it inside and rack the slide forward and you have <laughs> bullet in the chamber this one you can you know just like a normal firearm you can cock it back and push the uh, slide release up now this slide release you actually my oh shit let me do that again see if that wouldn't look oh so I finally loosen this shit up but initially when I got this thing I couldn't rack my I couldn't rack my slide forward with just the thumb. I've, I've discovered this on camera that I now can. I was about to lie and say that I can't <laughs> because I couldn't before. But whatever the case may be, <sighs> we have uh, the, the Ruger SC9 is going to be a lot safer. Ruger is a, it's a lot, it's a bit lighter than the uh, SC9. And the trigger, the trigger pull is something that I really did talk bad about when I first got the ruler. But I've actually grown on, I've had this trigger grow on me. And I, I look at this double action pull as more another safety. You know, and uh, pretty much what I what I say about that is this. When when a gun is made, I don't know, like, should I expect it to do every single thing right, you know, or like, or maybe the way as if I designed it, you know, that, that's for me, that's why I say, I feel like if we, if we ain't about to make a decision between spending $475 and $359, and I get this. That's a that's a great deal. Let me say that. That's a great deal. And and to get it and it's, and to complain about the trigger. I mean now you know you could probably get a trigger job, but I'm me, I'm not into that. I want it as is. That's just me. I like my stuff simple and I will adjust to my actual firearm. But this trigger is not bad. I mean it is a bit it is a bit long. Let me show you. Nothing. You no, know, it's a bit long. I mean but and this this trigger, they're probably about the same weight, but it's just a shorter travel with the nano. You know, so for me with the, the Beretta Nano having a slightly shorter trigger pull but about the same weight and the Rugas being a little bit longer, that it just doesn't bother me. Especially when I've saved shit, damn near a hundred dollars, you know, and got an extra shot and I still had that same pocket dimension. And any actual size, now that that's another there is another thing where the Beretta gets the Ruger, but it's only in inches. You know, so and this can really this can really count if you consider carrying in a back pocket. You know, because some back pockets there are higher than others. But the Ruger is 
you know, from this perspective, it's just not as, say, it's just the shape of it towards the back. You know, the this is seen, this fits more in a perfect square, more so than the ruler. I mean, but I don't have an issue with it myself. I have my jeans on. So let me show you what I mean. And when I'm going somewhere, I have a layout. And this is my this is my this is my same carry that I've had since high school. A wallet. Keys, uh, Carmex, and yeah, I have a uh, handkerchief. Oh yes, and I've uh, heard the the comments about me sniffing in my videos. Yes, I have uh, allergies, and uh, I've carried a handkerchief ever since I was in high school. So yes, my handkerchief will go in my back left pocket. <sighs> my wallet will go in my back right pocket. My keys will go in my front left pocket, and my car mix will go in my front right pocket. And if I have any loose change, front right pocket. Now, when I'm considered carrying, and I'm carrying in my back pocket, I have to switch my wallet to the side of my handkerchief, which is back left. And this is definitely something that I had to train myself on because I've been carrying this layout since high school. <laughs> and I'm I'm 29 now. <laughs> and I still use the same. That's why I know where stuff is. I don't even have to think about it. Here, here is this, here is this, here is this. But now since I'm considered carrying, <sighs> when I take a uh, pocket fire on, it's in my back right pocket. And that reason being because if I have to draw, if I have to draw my left hand, I'm going to get shot because I'm not going to get a good grip. Uh, I might not. I mean, I don't know, you know, because I am right handed. So I might have a better chance of pulling this out with my right hand than my left. So I have to remember that. But from a. Let's turn that so you can see a little bit better. You know, this is all the way in there. And you know, if somebody see this, if they even see it, they're just going to think it's a wallet because it looks like this side. Well, you know. That has a bit, look like a bit. That's a gun print. <laughs> I mean, but I'm looking at it and I know exactly what it is. Nobody going to look at you and say, oh, you got a gun. They're looking at you like that, then you should press charges for stalking because they're probably watching you a bit too hard, especially someone that doesn't know you. And here is the uh, Ruger. I mean, they both fit, but that's because my pockets are a bit tall. But I can say this, the Ruger is, is almost even with the top of the pocket on it right there. So for those that may... And these I have on some decibel shorts. You know, so for those that may have those pockets that are a bit shorter than mine, the Ruger may stick out. And if you, especially if your shirt sits a little bit, bit above your pocket. See, my shirt is going to go over my pocket, so it doesn't matter. But, you know, if you fit, if your shirts fit a bit like that, then, yeah, somebody could walk. If someone's walking behind you, they'll probably see the butt of your your uh, gun sticking out. Now that right there may be a deciding factor for you if you're going to consider pocket carry and you're going to carry in your back pocket. But the Beretta is way down here. That's, it's all the way. I'm going to stick my finger in about, about an inch in versus the Ruger. When I stick this in, it's right, it's right. <laughs> it's almost, like I said, it's almost even with the top of the actual pocket. So that is definitely the advantage that Beretta has. 
<clears throat> from a just being a more more say designed to maybe go into say a smaller pocket. You know, this would go into a pocket, but maybe maybe they didn't have the back pocket in mind. When I put this in there, it seemed like they had the back pocket in mind. The uh, Beretta Nano. I mean, but with all that said, I still think that if you're going to make a, a pocket pistol purchase, uh, I rec me, myself, I recommend the uh, Ruger LC9 because of the price, size, and capacity. You know, you get seven rounds, 359 and at the most 400 and even at $400, you still saving $75. And that's before tax gets on it, <laughs> you know. So, and then the the seven rounds plus six rounds. I mean, so one in the chamber, eight plus seven. I mean, you know what? For me, for me, it's a better buy. But honestly, I'm not gonna get rid of uh, neither one because some days I want this, some days I want that, and I will say that. Pocket carry is definitely the most comfortable carry, in my opinion, because you don't have something sitting on your waist, and you know that that can get that's that can get annoying, uh, having something sitting on your waist. But uh, pocket carry is definitely the most comfortable carry that for me, because now. When I pocket carry, it doesn't feel like it's nothing back there. But you know, that's that's something else that I might I'll talk about is practicing the uh practicing your concealed carry because you know if you had if you had if you're not carrying and when you think about getting into it, that that that's a hell of an adjustment going from not carrying the gun anywhere to carrying a gun. That adjustment, like right in between when it first starts, that that's 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 a bitch. <laughs> you know, you're gonna hate, you're gonna hate it. But like I said, if it comes to the Beretta Nano, the Ruger LC9, I'm gonna recommend you pick up the Ruger LC9 because of the price, size, and capacity. And Beretta Nano, you know, if you're concerned about that about maybe those pockets or you know the style of jean you wear because no one's going to re redo the, the wardrobe I I would I wouldn't think that no one would but it wouldn't make sense to redo your wardrobe around the gun but if if those pockets are your concern you know you might want to look at the Beretta Nano but overall I'm re recommending the LC9 it's your boy Dre and I get back with you with another video <clears throat> shortly.